How's it going guys and welcome to another character profile. This week we're doing Kite Tenjo. This guy's English name is Kite Tenjo. His Japanese name translated is Tenjo Kaito. He's 18 years old and his anime debut is in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal episode 13, The Number Hunter part 1. Kite Tenjo is the son of Dr. Faker, a number hunter and one of the main characters who is gathering numbers for his father. Kite Tenjo is the son of Dr. Faker. He's a number hunter and one of the main characters who was gathering numbers for his father in order to help his formerly sick brother, Heart Tenjo. In Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, assisted by a robot named Orbital 7, Kite was the most direct adversary for the first three acts, but his numbers are now in possession of Yuma and Astral. When Heart was cured, he became friends with Yuma and Astral and cooperated with them in the interdimensional war between the Astral World and Baryan World. An alternate rendering of his Japanese name Kaito can be translated as Phantom Thief referring to his taking of the number cards with his photon hand ability. His family name, Tenjo, uses the kanji for Heaven and Earth. Kite has light blue, grey eyes, pale skin and blonde hair that is curled up in a point with a dark green spike at the front, also featuring dark green bangs. His attire includes a black trench coat with a high collar over a grey shirt, a fingerless set of black gloves on his right hand and white pants with black boots. He also has a belt with two purple deck boxes for his cards. In the past, Kite's attire included a pink shirt, brown pants and braces fitted around his belt. When Kite duels, his black outfit switches to white through a process called photon transformation. When he uses a photon card while in photon mode, his body lights up. It is later shown that this transformation physically and mentally drains Kite, eventually hurting him when it is used. In the Japanese version, Kite whistles a heavenly song which can relate to how Kite sees himself as the light that illuminates the darkness, stagnating in the hearts of humanity, descending upon the wicked and delivering judgement. The actual tune of Kite's whistle is called Haruto Tenjo's Theme, which is also featured in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal Sound Duel 1 for the series. In the dub version, the song he whistles is more of a western theme, like a cowboy does when he is about to duel, which may be a reference to Kalin Kessler. Kite exhibits some level of religious affiliation in the Japanese version. When striking a finishing move against his opponent, he asks them if they are ready for confession. When he showed a level of guilt over his number hunting, Kite referred to his soul as being stained and having resigned himself to hell one day. Kite's initial personality is similar to that of Seto Kaiba when it comes to protecting his younger brother, who is his everything. Kite clearly cares more about heart safety than his own, as he keeps using the photon transformation to hunt numbers, not caring that it damages his body and constantly ignores Orbital 7's warnings because he needs the numbers to heal heart. The difference between the anime and manga versions of this character is how they view their ace card, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. In the anime especially, episode 106, Kite makes it clear that his dragon is an inseparable part of his identity as a dragon tamer, and that he himself is part of the Galaxy Eyes, therefore refusing to destroy it. In the manga, Kaito makes it clear that if his Galaxy Eyes won't be at his side, he will destroy it without a second thought, saying it will humiliate itself at the hands of someone else. Unlike the other regular D-pad versions of a dual disc, Kite's disc is a blue and single bladed disc that curves outside. He can duel without a dual gazer, however his left eye turns red and several marks resembling a dual gazer are seen when he duels. He can also do this independently of photon transformation for when he is a spectator. Kite plays a photon deck focused on swarming the field with light attribute monsters which he can then use to exceed summon his number monsters or tribute summon his ace card, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. According to Mr. Heartland, Kite's deck was made by him and Dr. Faker by using science from another dimension. As Galaxy Eyes requires two tributes for monsters with 2,000 or more attack, Kite includes cards which help him quickly fulfil that condition. His numbers can be used for the purpose of cards such as Photon Spear, Photon Thrasher, Photon Crusher, and he also includes many cards which counter Xyz monsters such as Galaxy Storm, Forced Release and Overlay Break, as well as cards which counter set cards such as Photon Cerebrus and Photon Hurricane. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave a like, favourite and subscribe. And who would you like to see next week from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5? Bye!